we did see that basically in any form of music there are seven basic notes however in more advanced terms there are multiple variations of these notes so that gives rise to the concept of shuddha swar komal swar and tivra swar shuddha swara are those notes which are resting in its natural position or its original frequency wherever they are meant to be so these notes that are resting in their natural places or frequencies or positions are referred to as shuddha swara there is one more type of swara called achal swar which is the shadaj and pancham so achal is nothing but immovable so these notes do not move that is they don't have variants like they don't have a komal shadaj or a tivra shadaj likewise a pancham doesn't have a komal pancham or a tivra pancham so sa and pa or shadaj and pancham are referred to as achal swar the leftover ones are komal swar and tivra swar any note that is moved below or moved down from their original place is called komal swar and any note that is raised from its original position or from its natural state is called tivra swar this komal swara and tivra swara together are also referred to as vikruti swara so in total we have two immovable swaras that is sa and pa five shuddha swaras and five vikruti swaras so this five vikruti swaras are a combination of komal and tivra swara in total we have 12 swaras because of these variations of komal and tivra 